You. During the foot chase, the suspect was able to take off in a police cruiser, as we showed you, with a rifle inside. The video shows police running around, the suspect about to jump in the car. How does that happen? Christina Rex spoke with security expert Ed Davis to examine what went wrong. It was just a half mile from this 7-Eleven where police say Eric Leach hopped into an open Rockland police cruiser, then leading them on a long chase through six South Shore towns. Does it mean somebody did something wrong? Not necessarily. How does a robbery suspect successfully steal a police cruiser near the scene of the crime? That's what investigators say Eric Leach is doing in this video after an officer left it unlocked with the keys inside. You get a call that there's an armed robbery and you race to the scene you're not thinking about the security of the vehicle. You're thinking about the safety of the people. WBZ security analyst and former Boston Police Commissioner Ed Davis says what makes this case unique is not the stolen cruiser, but the length of the chase and the amount of times the suspect managed to escape police. Each one of those individual things happens fairly frequently. Right. But, but combined together, this is an unusual circumstance. Leach was shot and killed by police once they finally stopped him in Quincy after a long effort by hostage negotiators. They say he came out of the cruiser brandishing a police rifle. And so when the, there's a suspect being ordered by officers in the SWAT team to drop the weapon and he doesn't comply and starts to make aggressive moves towards the police, the only thing they can do is fire. While the unfortunate end of the chase may have been unavoidable, Davis says there's technology in some police cars that prevent them from being stolen, called a kill switch. Basically, every time you put the car in gear, you have to press another button, a secret button, for the vehicle to move. And if you don't do that, the vehicle will stall out. The technology is expensive and not widely used, but Davis says this incident could open a discussion about expanding access. I think they're a great idea, and if you could put them into every police cruiser, that would be a good thing. And the entire case is now under investigation by the Norfolk County District Attorney, which is common in cases where police use deadly force. In Rockland, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Christina, thank you.